And listen, this is what happened as I ran into a stupid motherfucker, Mitch Green, right? <laughs> I had went to Dapper Dan earlier that day, like 12 or 11 o'clock that afternoon or morning, and I fitted for some clothes. And so we were supposed to come later, but we hung out, we partied, we were drinking, and, and we were in D.C., so we drove all the way back. And so we came back, so let's go to Dapper Dan and get my clothes. We went in there, I got my clothes. We were all laughing. Walter Berry was in there. We were all having a ball. We went, everybody was laughing in there. So my back is turned from everybody, but everybody's laughing. And all of a sudden, everybody stopped laughing. And I'm talking stuff. Yeah, and these bitch ass niggas, hey, you can't you imagine that shit? I'm waiting to get myself. I turned around, Mitch Green's in this motherfucker. And these guys all scared. They don't want to talk. I said, like, oh shit, Mitch fucking Green. Then he just started talking, what the fuck you doing in my hood, nigga? Oh, then it was on from then. And you guys, you guys threw down in the street yeah. or in dappers in right dapp. in the street. Jesus. And it was quick. Real quick. Blah blah. <laughs> well, he was talking a lot. <laughs> he was just talking a lot, and um, I really thought he was grabbing for my pocket, trying to pull my pockets out. Because if he pulled my, rip my pack, all the money will fall. But I won't have chance to get my money. I have to fight this cat, right? And then <laughs> my money's to the wolves. So anyway, that's when I just started punching him. And it was over quick. Yeah, I dropped him a couple of times, but he was high on angel dust, so he kept getting up, right? Just like Friday the 13th, the fucking Michael Myers, that guy. You talk and, about this in your show. Yeah, it's time, <laughs> boom, I knock him cold, boom, he gets back up, boom, I said, fuck, right? So when I'm in the car now, so I'm, I'm in the car, I'm tired, because I'm overweight a little bit, I'm fighting this guy, I'm tired, right? I'm a little drunk. Are you bugging that, like, you, this, like you're the heavyweight champion, and, like, you're a dapper dance, you gotta do this. and, like, this is happening in the street, like, are you like, what the fuck is going on, or did you feel comfortable with that? No, I felt comfortable doing it, but I was like, fuck, nigga, I hurt my hand on this motherfucker, right? Uh. But then um, he, I'm in the car, he rushes to my car, he breaks, in my Rolls Royce, he breaks the side mirror, boom, he breaks God it off, right? It. And then, um... With the eye jammy, his shit was already fucked. No, that, that wasn't the eye jammy. He was bleeding, but he didn't get. He didn't have the real eye jammy. So I went out the car. I said, "Excuse me, one minute." I got out the car, and I, I hit Mitch, and Mitch went down, and he uh, bent over, and I grabbed his head, and I hit him, boom, one time, and his head hit the floor, mm. and hit the concrete, boom. And I said, "Oh, then that's when he was out, boom." And I got scared because he didn't move anymore when his head hit the concrete. And that's when I just ran. I ran and got oh, the concrete. Oh, fuck, the fuck Mike. out of here. I thought I killed him. I was so scared. And Mike. this is right on 125th, right? Yeah, I was so happy the next oh, day in the paper fuck. they showed him. You're right with his eye. Eyes. Yeah, I was so happy. Oh, I know he wasn't fuck, dead then. Bro. And Walter Berry was there. Yeah, Walter was feeling bad. I said, Mike, I feel bad. I don't like to see you. Then I said, Walter, I have to fuck this motherfucker <laughs> up. We the disrespectful fucking that's nigga. That's fucking he crazy. The, you know, uh, you have, this is a disrespectful motherfucker. You have to see this motherfucker. You have no idea how disrespectful this motherfucker is. You have to fight this guy in the street. He's gonna talk to you like a pig in front of the whole the whole you ever see how you ever see how um Harlem is that all those people walking? He's talking to you like a fucking piece of rat shit in front of thousands of people. Loud, Loud. Big Jerry yeah. Curl motherfucker. Now, bitch ass faggot homo bitch dick sucking nigga. Yeah, in front of all these people. Like, oh shit, I used to start attacking oh, this motherfucker. Fuck. He was one of the last the last the, the last uh, re last remaining people with a jerry curl too. No, listen, you don't see they don't have Nick you don't see black people look like that anymore. Black people don't look like that's gone, all right? They may have a little texture in their hair, but no more of the jerry curl. That's gone. The era's over. But listen, Yo. man, this guy has rock in it. Yo. But this is what this is how interesting he is. This guy would rob the gas station. This is what he would do. So if it's not enough money, if it's too early, he got there too early, he would tie the guy up, hide him under the gas station, and start pumping the gas and taking the money. Pumping Mitch, the gas. Mitch Green. He's yeah. a piece of shit. Oh, he's a, yeah. I'm a right handed guy. He would pump the gas and take the got the guy's Where is still he? Is he alive? Mitch is still alive based on everything. Listen, I don't know, man. The guy be I shitting heard the guy he died. tied up shitting on himself Damn. and all that. Mitch just pumping the gas. That's <laughs> fucking crazy. And he's a Holy big motherfucker, shit. right? Six five. <laughs> Him is Holy crazy. shit, bro. He the guy. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Mitch Green is a fucking character.